Hey there, YouTubers. So, uh, BIOS overview, quick BIOS overview. Now, this is my first time in this BIOS, even though I've been in hundreds of BIOS. So, hopefully, I can find my way around. We've got the Gigabyte Z690UD DDR4. Uh, just picked this up used off of eBay. And so, we're getting familiar with it. Now, I um, did do the BIOS update via the uh, dedicated USB BIOS and BIOS uh, button. Uh, we did the F7 BIOS, even though the F20 is available. So eventually I'm going to do the other version of doing a BIOS update. But if you need to uh, see how that's done, you can check that out. Now you see here we have the i5-13600KF. This is the first BIOS out there that will support this uh, CPU. Okay, so... What do you see when you first come in here? You're going to see easy mode, uh, RAM. This is how you're going to uh, enable XMP. All right. Uh, if you want to disable it, you would do that there. Okay. So uh, at the end, it'll ask you to save it. Now, here's some general information about your uh, CPU. I've got a Noctua D15, I believe, on here. Um, so pretty good temps there. Just don't uh, ask it to keep it cool when you're doing uh, Cinebench R23 without uh, undervolting. But that's another story. Uh, we currently have no drives attached. We do have a graphics card in there, which you see. Um, interesting that that says PCIe 3.0. So, no uh, M.2s installed. Here is your fan. Now, if you want to change the fan speeds, uh, you could do that here by pulling that down. Right now, it's on silent. Uh, personally, I'm going to put it on normal. I'm not that uh, concerned about the noise of a little fan. You know some of my viewers might complain, but hey. All right, so... So we'll save that um, and jump back here. Now let's go over to advanced mode because that's where all the magic happens really. Uh, favorites, you know, these are some of your favorites. If you wanted to uh, pull some of them out and, and be able to get to them quickly. Over here, you see the uh, vCore. Something, you know, as you overclock, you may um, adjust that. There was obviously the uh, the RAM XMP there. And if you want to change the base clock speed. Um, so not everything's in here, obviously. Let's go over to Tweaker. At this point, folks, I'm just going to, you know, try and show you every menu that I can. So you at least uh, get that. So we'll go to this sub menu here. See all the information in here. You may have to pause your screen. As I'm not, like I said, going to go over everything. That's what's on those menus. And if something jumps out at me, like here you go. Intel Turbo Boost Technology. If you wanted to disable that, let's say you're having problems with keeping your CPU cool. Or you want to drop the amount of power your computer's using. You could disable that. Alright, let's jump back one screen oops all right so these motherboards you pretty much have to do that instead of hitting escape xmp if you're having problems with the speed it's running right and i may just do this folks because uh to be honest with you a lot of times this ram does not oops i don't want it running that low does not run at the speed that uh, i'm hoping it will and I didn't check the compatibility of this RAM. So make sure you do that before you buy RAM for a motherboard. I'm going to start mine at 3000 and then slowly bump it up from there to make sure it's stable. Um, of course, I could do 3600 and it may just continue to boot um, but not actually uh, display a screen. And after three tries, hopefully it'll boot back to XMP disabled. But uh, that's, you know. A little thing that you know most people know how to do so advanced memory settings 
You see that. And then timing stuff. Sorry, I'm having problems with this mouse clicking on the thing it's sitting on. Um, just go through these. In case you have, want to do this manually. That's not something I mess with myself. All right. So I think we hit, do we hit everything over here? Is there anything deeper? Oh, there's more stuff. So V core. Then you should be able to do undervolting around here as well. Um, let's go over to settings. I personally use X, XTU, Intel's XTU, to do all my overclocking and all that good stuff. So I am, I don't mess with this stuff too much in here. So if you don't want that annoying uh, gigabyte app thing to uh, download and install all the time, this is where you would disable it if you wanted to. Now I will keep mine enabled till I get all my drivers updated. Miscellaneous, trusted computer, of course, you know, 2.0, right? Uh, this will support Windows 11. And there you see TPM 2.0 there. PC health status. This is just a summary of all that good stuff. System info. Another summary. You know, one day it would be nice, honestly, if they would uh, get rid of some of these menus or devise new memories, or excuse me, new menus. There's that. I, you know, once again, you saw that in easy mode. All right, so in here, network stack, we're not going to go into these menus. Uh, boot, if we had some drives in here, this would be useful, but we can't move any drives around because we don't have any installed. And then at the end here, folks, save and exit. Now, there's also Q flash down here. I'll do, um, I've done one BIOS update video and I'll do the second one later on for you all so you can see how that, that works. But if you did make changes, make sure upon saving that you save and exit and say yes. And hopefully everything works. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.